Understanding Risk of Infection, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a commonly used phrase in the health and medical field, risk of infection. Understanding this phrase is not only important for mastering English, but it's also crucial for staying informed about health-related topics. Let's dive in. Risk of infection is a phrase made up of two key parts, risk and infection. Risk refers to the possibility or likelihood of something happening, especially something negative or harmful. Infection is the process of being infected, particularly by a disease-causing organism like bacteria, viruses, or fungi. When combined, the phrase, risk of infection, refers to the likelihood or chance of catching a disease. Understanding a phrase means knowing how to use it in different contexts. Here are some examples. Doctors are concerned about the risk of infection in overcrowded hospitals. Washing your hands regularly reduces the risk of infection. Travelers were warned about the increased risk of infection in certain areas. Notice how the phrase can be applied to various situations related to health and safety. Expanding your vocabulary around the phrase can deepen your understanding. Related terms include contagious, capable of being spread from one person to another, preventive measures, actions taken to reduce the risk of something, like infection, immune system, the body's defense system against infections. Let's clear up some common confusions. Risk of infection doesn't mean someone is already infected, it implies the possibility of infection. It's different from rate of infection, which refers to the number of infection cases in a given population. That's a wrap on risk of infection. Remember, this phrase is crucial in understanding discussions about health and safety. We hope this video helps you in your journey of mastering English. Stay curious and see you in the next video.